in the series of learning programming in C we are discussing printing pattern programs in C in this video I'll talk about how to print this pattern first first of all we'll see the logic on this whiteboard then what I'll show you the output on my laptop right now first thing when you see any printing pattern program is what you have to analyze it right how many number of rows number of columns and everything so first of all what you will do better to divide it like in rows and columns you will get it better right so in this case how many rows five rows are there right and the loop which will handle the rows one loop would be to handle the rows that is the variable is i for this row i value is one two three four and five for columns we have another loop having variable j and these are the columns right we have number these columns now first loop will be responsible for rows second loop will be would be responsible to print these uh, stars actual stars right and third loop would be responsible to print space see before first star in the first line we have how many spaces four spaces one two three four in second line three here we have two spaces here we have one space and here we have zero space right it's not space right from here uh, the pattern we are going to start like the pattern so that is why space from this before this star is one two three four it's not space right this is known as leading space and this space is known as trailing space we don't have to print the trailing space we just have to take care about the the leading space right so one loop would be to print the, these spaces one loop would be responsible to print the stars and one loop would be responsible to take care of these lines number of rows three loops would be required so now what would be the logic first loop simply the outer loop would be from i is equal to 1 to less than equal to 5 and i plus plus that's it because uh, lines uh, are 1 to 5 5 rows we have fine now for space see in the previous video also we have discussed let me just draw the condition when i value is 1 how many spaces 4 when i value is 2 how many spaces 3 when i value is 3 2 spaces when i value is 4 1 space and i value is 5 0 space now how, what condition you will put for this loop the loop which would be running for the space i am taking the variable space only right no i j k or anything uh, space is equal to 1 now what should be the condition condition space less than equal to c when i value is one space should be four means in first row space should be four and after that it's decreasing right so what you can put see number of lines are five total number of lines five if we subtract this row number from the total number of lines then we will get it means what we can put number of rows minus i number of rows are total number of rows 5 minus for for the first line i value is 1 so you will get 4 for second line i value is 2 you will get 3 for third line i value is 3 5 minus 3 you will get 2 for fifth line i value is 4 that is 1 and for fifth 5 minus 5 0 it's working so what condition you will you can put here space is equal to number of rows minus i right and we don't have space here so i'm writing here space plus plus and within this loop we are going to print only space now third loop would be responsible to print these stars right here i'm taking number of rows here i'm taking what five rows so you can if you print this pattern only you can write 5 minus i that is you can do but if you want that user so should enter number of rows you want to print like one time 5 another time when you run then 10 then 15 then 20 like this then you can take what a simple variable and you can enter you can ask the user ask from the user to enter uh, the number of rows he or she want to print so before that you can just take the value of the, this variable rows 
using printf and scan see here i'm not writing the complete code i'm just writing the, the logic here the complete code i'll show you on my laptop before using this i space and rows you have to declare these variables right so that is why here also we are not doing any hard coding right so we are not taking five we can put here i less than equal to rows whatever number of rows user want to enter till then the outer loop should run right and i plus plus now for space uh, sorry for space we have drawn we have drawn the condition now for star what condition you will put see when i value is one only one star when i value is two three star when th in third line five star here seven star and here nine star so what relation you can get see you have when you are trying to find out the relation what you have you have only i variable number of rows j variable here we have space or we have total number of rows three or four variable generally you will have so you have to do something with these variables only either multiplication division or minus or plus and you have to find out the condition you have to think like this so using these variables i j and space and rows how you can draw the condition for printing this star see for i 1 and 1 i think you can observe the, the, the that pattern here if i do 2 into i like 2 into i for this 2 2 into i 4 but here we have 3 2 into i 6 but here we have 5 so what you can do 2 into i minus 1 see the condition would be 2 into i minus 1 so for the first row 2 into 1 minus 1 that is you will get 1 for second row 2 into i value is 2 minus 1 4 minus 1 that 3 you will get for third 2 into 3 minus 1 that is 5 you will get right and like this i hope you can relate this thing you can now find out the condition so this should be the condition for printing the star so what you can write here for printing star for the third loop i am taking a variable j j is equal to 1 and j should be less than equal to 2 into i minus 1 and j plus plus right and within this for loop what you can print simply star no space after star like in previous video and in outer loop what you have to print slash n and that's it right now just see the working of uh, this program see it will ask from the user first of all enter number of rows suppose i am entering number of rows 5 so now i is equal to 1 first of all i would be initialized with 1 1 less than equal to 5 yes condition true we will enter into this loop now space would be initialized with 1 space is 1 less than equal to now rows minus 5 rows are 5 5 minus i i value is 1 that is 4 yes condition true we will enter here and space would be printed now space plus plus that is 2 now 2 less than 4 yes condition true again space would be printed now space plus plus 3 now 3 less than 4 yes again space would be printed now 4 yes 4 less than 4 again space would be printed now 5 is 5 less than equal to 4 no out of this loop after this loop we have another loop so now j would be initialized with 1 j less than equal to this 1 less than equal to now 2 into i i value is 1 2 minus 2 into i minus 1 that would be 2 into 1 minus 1 that is 1 1 less than equal to 1 yes condition true now we will enter here and now star should be printed right j plus plus j is 2 2 less than equal to 1 no condition is not true exit from this loop we have slash n now control would be in the next line now i plus plus check the condition again 2 less than equal to 5 yes condition true again enter into this loop now again space would be initialized with 1 right <coughs> sorry now 1 less than equal to number of rows are 5 minus now i value is 2 5 minus 2 that is 3 now here we have 3 right yes condition true space would be printed space plus plus 2 again condition true space would be printed 
space plus plus 3 again condition true space would be printing space plus plus 4 condition is not true exit from the loop now again j would be initialized with 1 now again check 1 less than equal to 2 into i minus 1 now calculate 2 into i i value is now 2 2 into 2 4 minus 1 that is 3 right yes condition true star would be printed j plus plus j is 2 now 2 less than equal to 2 3 yes condition true again star will be printed j plus plus 3 3 less than equal to 3 3 yes condition true again star will be printed j4 now condition is not true now exit from this and slash n now in next line right i hope now no need to dry run the complete program right i mean till what i value would be 3 then 4 then 5 Till then this pattern will be printed when i value becomes 6, 6 less than equal to number of rows 5, condition is not true, exit from the loop. I hope no need to dry run the complete code, you got it, right? You can dry run these three lines, you can dry run yourself, fine. Now let me show you the output. So now let me create another file for this named pattern 8.c, right? First of all, header files, then we will write the main function and we declare the variables we use during our program, okay, 4. Now the first loop, outer loop would be for number of rows, total number of rows, so i less than equal to number of rows, but before that you just have to take the input from the user, right. So now before that we will ask from the user number of rows using printf and scan. And now within this for loop we will print, we will uh, take what? Another for loop. This is for space, now space is equal to 1 and space should be less than equal to what is the condition? Rows minus i, right? And space plus plus. Now here what? We will print space only. And that's it for this. Now, another for loop, j is equal to 1, that is to print star and j less than equal to what condition we will put? 2 into i minus 1, right? And now j plus plus. And within this, we will print star. And now again in the outer loop we will print what? One more thing that is slash n. Now let me run this program. See it is asking number of rows you want to print. Let me enter 5. And yeah exactly this pattern you want. Let me run this for number of rows uh, 10. And that's it. Right? This is the output you want. Right? The full pyramid. So I hope you got how to print this pattern. That's it for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video with a new pattern. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.